Hey everyone, it's the Life Doctor here and happy Monday. Okay, so I wanted to continue with our series of Motivational Mondays. And I know last week we talked about taking the initiative and um, the importance of being good students of our emotions, specifically um, fear and anxiety, because those typically plague individuals who have challenges uh, with taking the initiative. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about healthy boundaries, because I know that not being able to set boundaries is a huge hindrance for a lot of people, um, especially in relationships. And um, I know that when we have challenges uh, with boundary setting, that can also interfere with us being able to set goals and being able to accomplish what we have set out to accomplish, accomplish or want to accomplish. And it just really interferes with our overall quality of life. So when we think about boundaries, really all it is is it's, it's some kind of a limit that demarcates or sets one space or area apart from another so it separates something it, it it you know it's a blockade of some sort and so when we think about personal boundaries it's basically the same thing it's a set of limits or rules or guidelines that we set that helps to maintain our personal integrity or our emotional safety and so I just want to leave you with a few tips and encourage you um, to follow these tips if, if this is something that you struggle with. So um, the first tip I want to leave you with is, first of all, name your limits. However, before you can name your limits, you have to actually know what your limits are. So think about things that you're okay with, you're not okay with, things that um, you can stand, things that you can't tolerate. So really begin to think about those things that you just really can't deal with and refuse to deal with. And one way that you can help uh, yourself figure out what those things are is to pay attention to your emotions. So I know we talked about that last time, this whole studying our emotions thing. And I want to tie that into, into this week's talk as well, because it's so important. And, you know, like I said, studying your emotions um, can open up a world of of possibilities for you and it's also important in boundary setting so if you study your emotions um, for example if you're feeling a sense of discomfort or if you're feeling resentment even in particular circumstances in particular interactions with people then that is a clue that there is something amiss with that interaction, with that person, with you and that person, there's something awry. Because typically we don't feel a sense of resentment unless we feel like something has infringed upon our personal integrity. Some boundary has been crossed. So if you're not clear as to what your limits are, I would encourage you to study your emotions and really let a red flag go off in your head. When you start sensing, you know, some serious discomfort, even resentment, because that is a clue that whatever was going on in that interaction, something was not sitting right with you. Something was crossing over some invisible line. And so that's the thing that you need to address. So the first thing is, you know, figure out what your limits are and name your limits to yourself to yourself, name your limits to yourself. Yes, you're going to eventually uh, be verbalizing your limits to whoever you need to verbalize them to. But first of all, you need to name, figure out what they are and then name them to yourself. The second tip I wanna leave with you is give yourself permission to have boundaries. You know, a lot of people feel like if they set boundaries, they're being rude or they're being mean. That's not the case. Boundary setting healthy boundary setting comes out of a place of love, love for yourself, love for others, respect. Setting boundaries is not a bad thing at all. You know, we we have boundaries in our lives all the time. Um, there are boundaries with, within the law that helps keep people safe. Uh, there are boundaries in our homes. We have windows and doors that help keep us safe. Um, we have gates that help keep our property safe or at least give it the appearance of being set apart. So, so there are boundaries all over the place. And so we as people are certainly more valuable than a house or, or some, some other thing. So certainly we need to be able to give ourselves permission to set boundaries, to keep ourselves safe, to keep our emotion, our emotional well-being intact. 
So give yourself permission, love yourself enough, believe that you are worth it and you are, believe that you are valuable enough and you are, to set boundaries to maintain your level of personal integrity. So number one, identify and name limits. Number two, give yourself permission to have boundaries. And number three, be direct. Now I know that being direct for some people might be challenging because maybe your personality is um, one that's shy and maybe reclusive, what have you. But when it comes to um, verbalizing or expressing boundaries, this is not the time for being wishy-washy, I'm not sure, because you're going to be sending mixed signals, okay? So that's why you first want to be clear as to what your boundaries are and give yourself permission to have them in the first place. And then when you're going to verbalize them or communicate them with whoever you're going to communicate them with, you need to be direct. Direct doesn't mean rude. Direct doesn't mean that you're disrespectful. It just means that you're clear, and it's okay to be clear. It's preferable that you're clear. Being clear means that, you know, you're going to be able to communicate to the person exactly what you're talking about. And hopefully they will leave with a clear understanding. Now, of course, you can't control any anyone else's understanding. You can't control how anybody else interprets anything. But be in control of what you can be in control of, which is you. So, so be in control of, of being able to clearly verbalize what it is your boundaries are, what it is your limits are. And I think that if you do these three things, uh, you know, figure out what your limits are and name them, give yourself permission to have boundaries. And then when you verbalize your boundaries to whoever you need to do it to, you're clear about it. That's going to help you um, really get on the road of, of setting and keeping healthy boundaries for your relationships. Um, and I think that when you kind of move into that space of emotional, healthy boundary setting, uh, you know, personal boundary setting, that's going to give you a sense of, it's going to give you a good feeling. It's going to give you a sense of, you know what, I am important. I, I'm important enough to go through this process of, of setting these boundaries, of, of articulating it to people who need to know what I'm okay with and what I'm not okay with. And you'll be surprised. Um, a lot of people in your life may not, not may not even know that you're not okay with whatever you're not okay with. Um, and it might be because you just haven't been clear. Now, here's the thing. If you, if when you are clear, you know, in terms of your boundaries with somebody, and they continually cross those boundaries, and this might have to be addressed in another video because I don't want this one to, to be too long, you might have to set some tougher boundaries. You, you, you know, you, so you, you might have to make some decisions about if you want those particular people in your personal circle if they cannot respect the boundaries that you've set. But again, I, I'll probably address that in another video. Anyway, I hope that this information has been helpful to somebody out there who's struggling with setting boundaries as it is so important. And as always, I'm not going to leave without uh, inviting you to check out the link below if you're interested in uh, in a way to supplement your existing income or generating an income altogether. Uh, I'm involved in a home business that's super easy for anyone to do. So once again, this is The Life Doctor. Uh, share this video, please, with somebody who needs help in this area. Go ahead and uh, rate this video. Comment below uh, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like me to cover on Motivational Mondays. Subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. And and I will see you in the next video. Bye.